What's up everybody? I wanted to share more about my recent trip to Zanzibar, so I felt like this would be a cool video situation to do for you to take you through our journey. First up is Stone Town. We stayed in a nice little hotel there that was close to a beach. Um, I think I was, I don't know exactly what I was expecting, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that it wasn't like a, like a beach beach, if you will. Like it was, it was a working beach. There was lots of boats there, but it was also next to a main attraction that I'll share a little bit more about in the next slide. But Stone Town was a nice area we got to walk through, saw lots of artwork and things that they um, were selling to tourists, of course, and got to know more about the history and also learned a little bit more about the West African slave trade. So Stone Town was very nice, found out more. It was because it was literally made of stone and coral. That's why they call it Stone Town. We ventured off to a place called Prison Island. Now, I know it doesn't sound super appealing, but apparently Prison Island was for people who were sick. So people who like, had like leprosy and things like that, they would put them on that island and hope that they would get well, but took them away from the general population. So I guess that would be like, you know, back when we did COVID, like if we had a place to just put everybody that had COVID um, just to put them in a different place. But now it's a tourist attraction and it has a lot of like tortoises, like they're, I would say they're everywhere, but they're kind of contained, but they, it was an, a gift that they got from, from somebody. I can't remember, but somebody's gonna put it in the comments below if you've been to Zanzibar to tell me where uh, they were gifted these turtles. So this was a pretty quick visit outside of the journey that we had to take on the boat uh, to get there, but it was a nice place to go and visit while there. So in the next one, we went on a spice tour. So we started off, uh, they gave us like literally like a pepper grain, like fresh off the tree. And that was interesting. Like our tour guide had us literally sampling and smelling things to see if we can guess it. I was a decent guesser. It wasn't the best of the person, of the people on our trip, but I, I did my due diligence. One of the surprising things for me were uh, the cinnamon tree right? It's literally like a tree. So cinnamon is not like a fruit or nut or anything like that. Cinnamon is the bark of the tree. And apparently the tree is self-healing as well. So when you are sprinkling cinnamon on it, it's like tree. It's like tree bark, right? But also the roots, the roots smell just like Vicks Vapor Rub. And it's like an effervescent, if that's the correct term. But either way, I was just like, wow, that was very interesting. So I loved the spice tour, being able to go around, sample a couple of things, um, eat some fresh pineapple, have some lychee, um, and just, you know, be around nature that was really nice to participate in. So our tour guide was gracious enough to offer us the opportunity to have a cooking class um, in his home as well. His wife and another tour guide gave us a guided experience in being able to cook some local meals. Um, and so we did the best that we could. Um, it was very humbling to be able to um, um, cook and generate things like in its raw form to where I would just go to the store and pick it up myself. So for instance, like coconut milk. Coconut milk, I just go buy the tin and I pour it in and it's finished. But here, we literally had to, you know, break the coconut and scrape off the coconut shavings like manually. That, and now I was sweating. I was sweating hard from that. But it was a great experience to be able to have that and to taste something different to taste something that was, you know, we literally made ourselves. Now we cook, don't, don't get me wrong, but it was just nice to be able to participate. And it was Ramadan, so we got to break fast with them. So that was an amazing experience to be able to, to share a meal that we cooked with them as they broke their fast. Our next adventure took us swimming with the turtles. Now, some of you all might've seen my stories and I'm gonna ruin it for you already. A turtle bit me. So when you go there and they'd be like, oh no, the turtles don't bite. They lying. <laughs> they, now, it didn't quote unquote hurt, but them jokers, if you're feeding them, they just gonna keep snapping to see, you know, if this, is this food? Is this not food? I didn't wanna be food. It was a cool experience. Nice to see all them turtles. Them turtles, they was eating and they were tasting people <laughs> as well. But it was nice to, we got our pictures and everything like that, got to touch the turtles and then we headed on out. But um, they were saying it, it was a kiss, but as you can see, that, that joker took he tried to take a little chunk. It was it, it was it was interesting. Towards the tail end of our adventure, we decided to just chill. So we went to a resort, hung out for a couple days, got some massages, chilled by the beach. Um, went, took a couple photos um, on the beach, but just closed out the vacation, just making sure that we took the, the opportunity to really 
kind of like decompress and be on vacation. If you follow, and I'm probably gonna make another one for some of the other things that we've gotten into on previous trips, but uh, it's been it's been quite the adventure, quite the journey. So it was nice to kind of relax before we came back um, to the UAE. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite part was in the comments below. If you have any questions as well, be happy to answer them. And I also want to give a shout out to our amazing tour guide, Khalifa. He did an amazing job. If you're thinking of going to Zanzibar or plan to go to Zanzibar, you have to hit him up. He will make sure that you get to go on all the tours that you want to and make sure you get around safely so he comes highly recommended by myself and others so if you would like his information go ahead and just look for his instagram name right there at the bottom or hit him up on facebook and uh, we'll see you soon